Cambridge Analytica has boasted that its cutting-edge micro-targeting campaign won the US election for Donald Trump. That sparked outrage and indignation, of course, especially among Trump's political opponents. But it's worth remembering that a previous president is also believed to have won the White House thanks to online micro-targeting, none other than Barack Obama, and with considerably less outrage and indignation as a result. Well, I think the uh, segmentation that they are doing now, which Cambridge Analytica are doing now, is very much the same thing that Barack Obama did in 2012. It's trying to make the advertisements as relevant and personal to people and voters as, as possible. Benedict Pringle is an ad executive who also runs a blog on the sometimes dirty business of political advertising. His day job and his sideline have much in common. While campaign techniques become ever more precise, winning elections is, after all, a sales job. I think that the margins in the Trump election and in the Brexit referendum were so small and the number of people that were in play, the persuadable voters, were, were so few that the number of ads that were run, the amount of money that was spent in targeting them, would have undoubtedly had an impact on the result. Would it have changed the result? Impossible to say. Would it have impacted at least, you know, a decent chunk of the persuadable voters? Absolutely.